Well, for carers in Brighton and Hove this year, it's a really important Carers' Rights Day. Um, the focus of our event this year has been around the development of a new citywide carers' strategy. So that's going to be the key document that informs how all services support carers in the years ahead. Hearing the voice of young carers is just vital in any of our work around supporting carers and making the city more carer friendly because young carers are at the sort of added disadvantage of those health inequalities that carers face. So we all face as carers health issues, mental health, physical health, financial issues, social isolation. You take that, you put it on young carers and then they're losing their childhood too. So they're losing their um, educational access, they're losing the friendships they're making. All of that is impacted on a young carer and that young carer then lives with that for the rest of their lives. So we need to get to young carers and find out what would make a difference to them. And in the room today, talking to young carers, they were very clear on what would make a difference, that the school would recognise them, that they would be able to be supported. Things were put in place to make sure that that individual, you know, caring for a partner, a family member, can be hugely rewarding. But there are the negative impacts that we need to reduce and that's what our work's about is reducing those negative impacts and to get to the young carers the children is so so important so hearing their voice huge my take home from today i think is in my role of, of, of being involved in writing the strategy with support from colleagues it's been that it is energizing it is hearing what people the carers are saying enables me to build a mandate for change and to say this is the voice of carers you cannot ignore this would they have rights they are you know in Brighton and Hove alone it is estimated that the economic contribution of carers is 618 million pounds a year so it's you know there's a moral duty to support carers there's a legal duty to support carers but there's also clearly a financial element so we need to be really clear that we are supporting carers and i think today what it tells me is some people have had huge frustrations huge difficulties getting their voice heard supporting the person they care for other people have actually hit upon an individual in a service who has changed uh, how they get supported and has made a massively positive impact so it's trying to develop services that help people navigate through some of the complexities of being a carer and supporting um, your cared for person. So I think the take home for me is we have got so much information from people talking about what it would be like to be a carer friendly city, creating a kind of a blueprint that says to the NHS, this is how you could be carer friendly, to social services, this is how you could be carer friendly, to education, to employers, so that we can actually say to somebody, this is what carers have said makes this city carer friendly. We need to make sure it happens and we need to check it will happen. <laughs>